Hello friends, Jennifer Pearson here, Thistle Gypsy. And um, I wanted to talk a little bit about when the cards are about your animals. <laughs> um, and I haven't given this a lot of thought, except that I think that I had this situation happen to me here recently. And um, so I had put up another video that was about messages that you seem to be receiving from the animal, the world, the animal world, the animal kingdom in terms of things happening around you. And I talked about this mouse who seemed to perform this interesting miracle of getting up um, onto a tall dresser to get at some, and, and somehow evading my uh, killer cat and my terrier and all of this stuff. And, um, and I was trying to sort of digest what that was about. And I don't know if I if I did, if I pulled cards around that, I can't remember, but at some point I was kind of getting the impression, um, maybe because, you know, first I was thinking, okay, well, I, I need, that's telling me to seek um, an unusual path to get to a goal, to get to abundance, um, abundance being represented in real life by the um, the bag of cat food, <laughs> so seeking alternative routes, etc. Well, the drama involving the mouse repeated the following evening, and it repeated while I had the cat out and about, and so the, the killer cat, the cat had, that had formerly been living a lot off of the land and it you know it was really no time before I think I I turned out the lights once and and he, he pretty much had the mouse he's a pro he's, he's young but he's a pro and so he got the mouse and, and that was the end of that and um, And so I started looking at it a different way. And I don't know if this is a, sort of a problem in terms of looking at it. Maybe I should be identifying with the cat. Oh, excuse me. It's late afternoon. This is jasmine tea. I'm hoping it'll perk me up a little bit to get me through my evening class. Um, but I was thinking, okay, well, maybe part of the message here is that you know, somebody is um, kind of plotting against me or is, you know, as I'm going about my business because mouse is also about, um, you know, paying so much attention to detail that you don't see the big picture. And the big picture in this case is the fact that there is a cat roaming the house, okay? <laughs> um, and even and ne even nearby. Um, and, and the mouse knew that when whenever it came out from undercover because the cat had been, I, you know, I figured out what the mouse was doing is it was going, as I, I thought perhaps it was doing, is in the little space between the wall and the dresser, it was squeezing itself up through there. And, um, and the cat knew it. The cat, that's, you know, the cat knew it and was, you know, batting inside that area. Of course, couldn't get to the mouse, but then, you know, it's like, okay, well, there's nothing I can do about this unless I wanted to run something behind the dresser, and, and, and I'm not going to do that. To me, it was giving the mouse a chance to turn off the light, let the cat, you know, let the cat chill and maybe go to sleep, and then maybe the mouse would come out. Well, the mouse came out way too quickly. And, um, <clears throat> and, and the cat was ready for it. And so, 
then I'm thinking, you know, maybe I'm the cat, or excuse me, maybe I'm the mouse, and I'm not paying attention to larger situations or things that I think are completed when the lights go out. I'm thinking, okay, well, that's over with. Um, a certain, and well, I don't know that I felt threatened, and I'm not somebody who's inclined to feel threatened. <coughs> Uh, which apparently the mouse wasn't either, <laughs> you know. So I was thinking. So the question arose for me that I that I and I took it to the cards. It says, "Is someone thinking about harming me?" <clears throat> you know, is somebody thinking about harming me? Um. So I pulled, and I don't have those cards now because I I pulled it the other day, and I've used the cards for other things since. Um. <clears throat> But I recorded the messages that I got, the cards that came up. So when I ask a yes-no question like that, I usually am thinking in terms, the first card is giving me kind of a yes or a no. The second card, I usually pull three. The second card is like, why is this person um, doing, or why is why the yes or why the no, essentially. And then the, the result, if, I, if someone follows through, um, and this one is a little bit different because it would mean if the person follows through, what what will be the result? Um, so it's it's a little bit twisted in this situation. I usually use these kind of like for you know should I should I spend money on X? Should I buy this? Should I do that? So it's usually a should question that I ask. And not about another person, but about more directly about me. So, this question, is someone thinking about harming me? And I pulled from the Rider-Waite-Smith, and I pulled from the Fairies, and I pulled from the Llewellyn, the Llewellyn Tarot. And I like to do this in part because, um, like the Llewellyn, I'm still getting a feel for. And the Fairies kind of give me the ugly truth. And... The, uh, they don't give, they'll give me happy truths as well, but they won't pull any punches, punches those fairies. And so I also, and the reason I even pulled the fairies was because the answer was yes. And so that was blowing my mind. I was sure that this would be no. So for one thing, I got all upright cards, and I had shuffled for reversals. And the you know the last few times I'd used the deck, it was it had been shuffled for reversal, so there should have been plenty of opportunity for reversal. But no, I got the Page of Pentacles upright, the Sun, and the King of Wands, and it's like you're you're kidding me. <laughs> How could this be true? Somebody is um, thinking, and again, it's thinking about harming me. I don't know that there's a the person will follow through. You know, that's, this is like when you say, you ask the cards, you know, is he into me? Is she into me? Does this person like me? If you get yes, well, they might feel that. doesn't mean that they're going to act on it. You know, that's, that's a hitch in that kind of a reading. You have to act. Say, okay, if they feel that way, second question, are they going to act on it? Um, so, but at first it was like, Especially the Page of Pentacles, to me, that's that's a yes. There's, I don't see how you could construe that. It might be a slow yes, but it's a yes. Um, and then and then the Sun card um, is kind of weird as a why. Why does the person want to harm me? You know, maybe because they see me as protected or something, and they want to. Um, or they see a certain level of innocence, and maybe to them that indicates an opportunity to victimize somebody. Um, or they're jealous. You know, that's partly what comes through also, as somebody who's jealous. And, and then the result being the king of wands. You know, if the person follows through, then there's the king of wands as the result. It's like, well, how is that the result? Does that mean the person is victorious? Does that mean I'm going to intervene? Um, or somebody else, some other person, King of Wands, might intervene. So it's just, um, you know, it's a murky message, uh, but it's certainly, to a, to a yes-no, it's certainly a yes. <laughs> it's like, 
Uh, so I, again, I'm like, how can this be? And so, I, you know, I pulled out the, the fairies and I got, again, you know, is someone thinking about harming me? And now I don't normally um, shuffle the fairies re for reversals, but I think I'm going to start to. I think I'm going to start to, that I need to start doing that, uh, especially for complicated questions. Um, because it does certainly change the nature of the message. So for the fairies, I got Lady of the Harvest um, for the first card, He of the Fiery Sword, and then the Rar. Now as a result, the Rar is pretty... Um, non-threatening, uh, I would say, but certainly, you know, so the Lady of the Harvest isn't naturally threatening, but it can be that somebody wants to force the end of something. Um, and the harm, the way I phrased it, that harm, I don't know if that means, necessarily means physical harm. You know, maybe they're trying to, somebody's trying to undermine my career or goodness knows what. Um, and then the why is he of the fiery sword would just pretty much be to exercise, um, you know, to exercise their yang energy, their, their masculine, forceful energy. To me, that's all that means is why, just for the sake of it, just because the person can, just because the person is in power. And then the Llewellyn, and this is kind of where it kind of tipped. I went, hmm. Okay, so for the Llewellyn, I got the lovers. Okay, again, to me, that's a yes, but it's the lovers. <laughs> and then um, Page of Swords is, to me, would be a matter of some kind of, you know, trying to prove oneself, being very reactive, that kind of thing. And then the eight. The Eight of Pentacles was the last card. Um, so, you know, the result is kind of just hunkering down and getting back to work or something. So, it's just all kind of weird. So, I did have um, a, kind of a lingering relationship. So, because of the lovers, okay, so... I did have kind of a lingering relationship, uh, gosh, over the course of like a year and a half, it was lingering. Ah, we could even say maybe two years. It was just, it was slow, slow death, <laughs> mainly death, but never quite absolutely completed. Well, there was a, a conversation early in, was it early? I guess it was early in August, early in this month? Gosh, I think it was even, might even have been July. But anyway, where it, you know, it's pretty much over, and neither one, of, and it, it, it didn't end, it ended with, not like vehement hostility, but it's like, you know, you know, he's telling me that I am, pretty much full of BS, and when he did that, when he did that to me, that was like, okay, if, you know, if you can't see this, if you can't see this, then it truly is the end. It was a very defensive reaction on his part, and, you know, so that was, I think for both of us, it was like, all right, there's, there is zero here, <laughs> there is zero. There is nowhere to go. We want completely different things. And so there's nowhere to go. But I kept looking at these cards and thinking, pages, pages, pages is not right. Pages is not right. The sun is quite not quite right. He of the fiery sword. Well, you know, if I want to be dramatic, if I want to be dramatic, I could go, oh my God, I, I think he's you know, he's thinking of harming me as a result of this. No, I really don't think that. If I check in with myself, I think that he 
doesn't want, you know, I think he's probably moved on. He doesn't give a crap and, you know, onward he goes and, you know, that, that makes sense, you know. Is he somebody that can potentially harm someone? Absolutely he is. Does he care enough for what happened between us to, uh, according to him, he doesn't, so I'm, I'm thinking no. Um, and so when I looked at the pages, pages, swords, he of the fiery sword, and the page of pentacles, I think it's my cat. <laughs> I think it's this cat that's come into my life. And when I look at it that way, to me, it makes quite a bit of sense, quite a bit of sense. Now that this cat is thinking about harming me, well, he's not thinking about harming me in the sense that he's going to pounce on me and grab my throat in my sleep. No. Is he looking for ways to um, swing his fiery sword, those being his claws? Oh yes, all the time, all the time. One of the things, and he's a page of pentacles, he's trying to learn how to be a civilized cat in the sun, you know, the sun, the walled yard, the protected area. He's, he's needing to learn how to do that. So he's a cat right now where I can pet him in certain circumstances and he loves it and he purrs really loud. And um, However, in a lot of other circumstances, if I randomly go up and go toward his head to give him a pat, he wants to swat. He wants to swat at my hand. It's uh, it's just a reaction from him. And I don't know if that's because of um, the combative nature of his life before coming indoors. Um, there was another male who was, you know, head of the territory before he showed. Before this young cat, um, well, when when this cat was young and a kitten. And as it was only within like this last six months um, before I took him in that he managed to get the upper hand on this other cat and chase him away. Um, but even the female that he was starting to hound, um, she was a hag. This cat is a hag. And, you know, he couldn't get near her without her hissing and batting at him. and. You know, if I put out food and she got there first, there was no way he was getting any. <laughs> you know, so, so yeah, I and the lovers. I mean, this cat is like a dog for the most part. He wants to be wherever I'm at, and he wants to be right there. And at night, when I lay down, um, when I go to bed, he wants to be right next to me. I can, and even if, if he's not, if he's if he decides to go into another room and lay down for a little, there's undoubtedly some point during the night I'm going to wake up and he's laying right next to me. So, I think, I think this reading is about my cat. So, um, and I think that in other words, and to me also, this is saying. You're making too much out of the mouse. The mouse wasn't necessarily a message, um, or certainly not a message about harm. And so I could explore the other meaning that I saw with it, which was, um, you know, what other routes should I look for? What, you know, one question that comes up is, what, what is the treasure? What is the treasure? And then what are my alternative routes that I should explore? And maybe I'll do that right now. I brought out these, this fairy deck. This is the um, fairy tarot cards from Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine. And um, what I have this deck and the Romance Angels. And those are, I think, my only Dorian Virtue decks. Though I confess I want to get the unicorn cards. Um, and I even wouldn't mind the Ascended Masters. But, you know, there's all this controversy right now over Doreen Virtue and her conversion to not only Christianity, but on the, the, the more rigid, um, a, a more rigid version of it, a more intolerant version of it. I was, you know, I know she makes decks. I was never a, a spiritual, I never, I was never a follower of hers. And I, and, I, and I didn't, initially, I didn't particularly like her decks. 
this deck I got on a trade. Um, and I just thought, well, I like the imagery, what the heck, why not? It was not kind of an oddball trade, and I thought, well, yeah, we'll do it. I'll take it. I'll look at it. And when I got it, I like the images. I still haven't connected to them completely, but I do like them, so why not? Um, so I haven't connected with them really yet, uh, so that we can play. We can play. We're playing. So I had also, before we get to that, I had also asked the question, how does this person want to harm me? I thought maybe that would give me a, more clues also, but what I got was um, the Four of Swords, the Two of Swords, both of which strike me as saying the person is thinking or plotting. You know, there's a, there, the Two of Swords to me is a dilemma card. You know, can't decide between one thing and the other. Four of Swords, sleeping on it, hasn't decided yet, you know. Which to me is like, well, kind of supports the notion that, the, you know, Chances are whatever is being thought about is not going to actually happen. And then the fairies gave me the singer of healing. Now it could be, you know, somebody trying to block my healing because I do have health problems, etc. And, you know, who would, I, first of all, I don't know anybody who knows about my illness who, who would think that way. You know, it's mainly family and friends. And then I don't know how they would do it. I have no idea how they would do that. You know, it'd have to be somebody living in my house, and nobody does. So, um, <clears throat> you know, like taking my taking my medications away or something. Otherwise, I don't see how they would do that. Um, you know, they could, I suppose, potentially. You know, the opposite of healing. You could interpret the opposite of healing as physical harm. Again, I'm not inclined to, to think that way. But I think with the youthful energy of the two pages, um, that was steering me. I'm thinking, this is somebody young. Well, this cat's like two or two and a half. And then, of course, like I said, he had the fiery sword. That's those kitty claws. Page of Swords, he has totally been acting like the Page of Swords with all of my other animals. He, he definitely feels like he needs to show them that he's the tough guy, which is amusing because he was not the tough guy out, out in the, when he was out of doors, he was not the tough guy. So anyway, so let's look at it the other way and pull some cards just because, just because. So, the first question would be, um, what is the treasure? What is the treasure? Like the mouse was going after the bag of cat food. What is, what is the abundance? What is the treasure that, well, we'll take it. And... Could mean travel. I'm not even sure what card this represents. I trimmed off the tarot associations because they were bugging me. And this person is kind of doing the opposite of the mouse in the sense it looks like she's yearning for the southern, kind of the lower altitudes where there's less snow. Well, let's, let's keep pulling, and we're going to pull another for the... It could just be dreams, for that matter. This could just represent dreams, that the treasure is your dreams. Um, dreams and goals, that could very well be. Oh, but I'll continue. Let me, let me do this one more time. Um, okay, what is the treasure? And I think this is the Ten of... It's either the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Pentacles. I think it's the Ten of Pentacles. Um, so, yeah. This, this is Fairy's Home in the Trees. 
you know, card of security. And the way I know it's the pentacles, it's got all those, that fruit. See how the, the pears up there? Um, which is, again, is amusing. It's showing food, which is essentially what the mouse was after. So maybe it's just going to show, it's just going to tell me again the same thing. It's just about the mouse. Don't try to make it into something more. It's not. It's just about the mouse. <laughs> just about a mouse trying to get to some food. Um, but let's do this. So now we're going to ask, we're going to take a look at alternative routes. What would the alternative routes be? And while I'm shuffling, thinking about that, I'll say, so I started this video saying, you know, you know, this is a video about when your cards are telling you about an animal. <laughs> They're telling you about, like these cards about harm were, I think, really telling me about this cat that is a major disruptor in my household these days. And, uh, and I've had other readings, like I've, where I've done a love reading, or I've seen other people's love readings I'll watch on YouTube. You know, I'll watch their monthly love reading for cancer or something. And, and I'll just look at what the cards are coming up, and I'm just saying, that's about my dog. <laughs> that's about my cat. Um, and it just amuses me. But, I mean, it's true. Because I live alone, because uh, for the most part I'm not actively seeking, um, there is a real possibility that the most important relationship going on for me, the most complicated in some ways relationship, sometimes relationships for me, are those of my animals. Um, you know, I had one animal over the past year who was going through cancer and is now gone. I had Zippy who's been with me for a little over a year, and her coming into the household was disruptive. So, um, yeah, I have animal drama. I don't have people drama so much as animal drama. Okay, so, um, what are whew, the alternative paths? And this is more than one card, but it wanted to come out so we're gonna we're gonna take a look just for the fun of it this is all fun um a different direction that looks compassish to me what she's got there um maybe have alternative routes planned um and i will say this i am um because of my health issues i am going to um, to see a doctor in another state, and it's it's a few weeks ahead. Yeah, it's a couple weeks ahead anyway. And um, so it could be saying that, and and I thought of that when I saw this. Okay, could be could be it's talking about um, travels to. Um, to see Dr. Christ, but I don't see how this could have anything to do with it, unless it's a matter of somebody, because somebody has to come and watch my animals and watch my house during that time. So maybe I need to be extra careful. Um, I have this person, this wonderful person, and she's already agreed, and she always comes and watches my animals. So I'm not terribly worried about that, but um, it's something for me to keep in mind and maybe to ask her to be a little bit on guard this time around. But to me this is, so this is the treasure, and this could be my physical health, pentacles being about physical, and this about travels, distance to go, and this could be the compass to have alternative routes because I am driving. Um, and I usually do take a, a less than obvious route anyway. Um, and this is an interesting card as alternative methods, but I can see this. Alright, I'm starting to see alternative methods of healing with that healing card. 
So this is kind of a fairy godmotherish sort of a card, but I see all of that light. Um, and I think of helpers, shamanic health, helpers, spirit helpers, helping you with your health. In this case, it's more her garments, but we can always think of our bodies as uh, the garments for our spirit, right? So yeah, maybe I could see that. Um, talking to spirit guides, not just doctors, but spirit guides. Um, and then here we have, uh, I don't know. This, this is the. I don't think this is the Six of Swords. Maybe it is. Ah, uh, this might be the Ten of Cups. Can't recall. But anyway, it looks like a little family vacation. Out on the ponds. Happy. A happy moment with the family. My terrier and the crazy cat, the page of swords are over there. They've been running and playing the whole video, <laughs> chasing each other. Um, so yeah. You know, to me this would be, if I'm talking about my health, water, family I'm not sure so let's take ha huh. this is the empress in this deck knowledge of course I'm not sure that that's an alternative method to anything that's that's kind of my go-to method but um, intuition look at that third eye blue that is brow chakra blue all over the place there it's beautiful and, um, hmm. maybe seeing, you know, not seeing myself as being deprived or in poverty. So there are some really deep cards here in this deck. And since we had two pop, three poppers, we're going to take three here. And then, oh goodness. I think this is the Page of Pentacles. Maybe it's the Two of Pentacles. can't remember. But, you know, look at all those books there. It's not the Page of Pentacles. It's very nearly. I don't know. Again, it does feel like playing. It, it feels like there could be more than one thing going on here. But does, it does feel a lot like um, healing. Um, and so, again, if, if the mouse was about... Um, if the mouse had a message for me, it, it may be about taking an alternate route to health, to health and healing. And the healing card did come up in how, you know, the singer of healing came up for how does the person want to harm me. Um, so it could be I was asking the entirely bad question, and they, you know the the question was off. But but then if the first question, how you know, is someone wanting to harm me, should have come up as a definite no. Um, whereas it came up as a yes. But in general, I think that these cards, the treasure and the alternative, is about health and abundance. Um, it could be about traveling in abundance, uh, traveling maybe without sacrificing my abundance because it is costly to do what I'm doing in many ways. 
and and then seeking seeking alternative ways of addressing my health and I would say even my prosperity. So there we go. Ah, back to yawning. So I'm not sure that I think you know, I did this primarily because it's like, you know, I don't want to have a video where I just talk. I want to pull some cards. And those other cards I'd already pulled. And as I said, I had the decks. Um, were already committed to doing other things with them. So I decided to play with these and approach, approach the mouse situation from a different perspective. And I like this, and I like the cards, but it, it still feels like a stretch trying to make the mouse situation into a message for me is feeling like a, stre a stretch um, and more like, hey, you know, it's just a mouse. <laughs> you, you had a mouse situation in your house like many people have. One more thing that's occurring to me. How am I paying too close attention to detail? How am I being too mousy in terms of narrowing my focus? So I'll try to pearl only one. These cards were wanting to jump out at me a lot. All right, so let's do it. How am I paying too much attention to detail? Oh, and it's house, 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 house. It's all about the house maybe staying in too much and not seeing the bigger picture. So that's interesting. Uh, this might be the Four of Wands in this deck, I'm not sure. But it is very clearly about house and uh, looks to me more like friends. Could be family, but maybe friends. All right, um, so let's take a look at the big picture that I'm missing. What is the big picture that I'm missing? Okay, what is the big picture I'm missing? Oh, I think this really is the Page of Pentacles. She looks like... She looks like an older version of this person, doesn't she? Um, the differences between these will take some study on my part, and I'm not going to do it here um, on video, because to me they, they have more in common than they have in difference, um, because my home is where I would do the studying. Now, it may be telling me that I need to look at some of the community colleges or I need to be doing some looking into either um, teaching as opposed to being a student. Um, I, I no longer have the financial ability to be a student. Um, and so maybe that's what they're... And I'll have to, and it's easy enough to pursue that line of thinking to get online and see what kind of opportunities are available at the local colleges. But um, they're limited because I only have a bachelor's degree. And, um, and you know, the, the semesters for most of the colleges in this area have already started. They started in the middle of August. And I'm doing this almost in September here. But I can take a look. Alrighty, there's my ramble, my ramble and exploration for the day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.